Yo guys, welcome back in another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you a quick tutorial how you can run your own Starknet node on a virtual machine. We've seen in the past that huge amount of people got really great amount of money for running a node on Aptos blockchain. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can do it on Starknet. So quickly about Starknet, there's a great chance that there will be airdrop soon. So I think this is a great chance to even multiply your airdrop. So basically you can see they have 273 millions uh, in funding. There will be 8% allocated for early adopters, early users, for all these users that interact with, with Starknet. But of course, nothing is really confirmed. But the devs and admins in the Discord said there will be no incentive for running a node. But we can't really trust them. This is always what they do. They're never going to tell you about the airdrops. So that's why you have to really trust the process and use the applications and interact it on your own. Just put your own money, interact with different applications and see what's going to happen in the future. So that's why I think token is really soon because all these different wallets, different communities, different dApps, they're running in campaigns. Like for example, my Bravos, they encourage people to use their protocol and use the, uh, basically the chain. Like for example, Argent, and also we have the Starknet ID. So all of these hype communities, the big projects, they encourage people to basically use it. So you build your more transactions, you are um, getting the better history on your wallets. But if you look at Discord, they have three sections in here, which one of these sections is about running a node. And I tried to talk to admins and they said that there will be no incentive for running a node. But I was thinking, why would they even put the sections in there if they don't need any node validators? So there is some chance that maybe node validators will get some extra chunk of token. But of course, you're doing this on all the risk. So you have to really decide whether you want to put your money in this. Personally, I want to do it because it might cost me $100 or $200 for a couple of months. But once it's going to happen, it might be 50x or a huge amount of money. So it's really worth it the risk is low but the returns are really high so the first step that you have to do guys you have to go to website uh, pq hosting i'm gonna link this down below so you can access it easily and in it there you'll need to sign up for your accounts i show you guys how you can create an account in my previous videos I just go there sign up with google or different account and then once you're in your hosting you will need to go to this page which is basically virtual private servers then you click on order so the first thing that you need to do is to select the data center. I'm going to select Germany because I used this in the past and it was great. Uh, you can also select the monthly period. So basically, I'm going to use this as long as I will get the airdrop. So you can use a month, three months, half a year or year. But it's really up to you what you want to use. I'm going to use a month. And then I would recommend you guys use the minimum of uh, 8 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to use the more uh, expensive tariff. Uh, because the block is keep expanding so i'm just gonna have more space in it for the future and now you want to select the ubuntu 22.04 so select this uh, operating system you don't have to do anything in here and you click add to cart once you do that if you have any promo code you can use it i'm going to try to get some promo codes for you guys so you can just use it it's going to be in the link down below and now click on the pay button once you do that, you select, uh, you can pay with Ethereum or Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency you have. I'm going to use my account balance. And now it's going to take a few minutes to get the server. So I will get back to you once this is done. So next, you want to download the PuTTY software. And PuTTY software is essentially the SSH client, which allows you to connect to your VPS. So once you click download, uh, it's going to open up this page. And you'll need to select either x86 or 32-bit um, uh, or ARM. It really depends on your system. To use the a version that corresponds to your computer so i already did that so the client looks like this very simple client you just need to paste your ip address so now if you go back to your pq hosting you can see that our server is ready so if you click on these three dots in here you select the instructions it's gonna pop up the page with different server information so now basically you will need to copy your ip address and paste that into putty and now you'll need to input your login which is root then you'll copy your password and just right click it and you're not going to see the password for the security reasons so paste that in and now you're in the server so now next what do you want to do you want to go to this website and they provided the starknet node guide setup so basically if you want to do it on your own it's going to take you quite a lot of time and the entire script is complicated you have to be developer to run it but these guys they uh, wrapped up everything in a simple script so you can basically use it and just replace one uh, value and I'm going to show you how you can do it. So basically, we copy this line of code. Just open your notepad. And then in a the notepad, just paste it in. So once you have that, the next step, what you want to do, you want to go to startup to alchemy.com. 
you want to create a free account you basically sign up with google or any other email account click on create up once you do that just give it a name starknet note uh, once you have that just select the ethereum uh, chain and also ethereum mainnet for the network or you can use the Gorli if you want to do it on the testnet what we're going to do it on mainnet once you have that just click create up and what you want to do you want to click on view key and copy your https uh, url so copy it go back to your notepad and just replace your alchemy key put this in here now what you want to do you basically want to copy your script and paste that in your console so once you did that you want to go back to notes guru page and you want to copy this line of code go back to your um note and paste this command in press enter and it's gonna take a few minutes to set up and also after that you'll need to wait i think more than a couple of days to sync the entire node if you want to check how many blocks you have to sync you can go to a StarkNet Explorer, like StarkScan, and you can see you have to sync um, nearly 70,000 blocks. So if you watch my videos about Bitcoin nodes, you know that it really depends on your network connection. Sometimes for some people it was a one day or for some people it was more than a week. So you can basically see that if you have this window right now, you can press enter and just wait a few seconds. Now, as you can see, the entire script is downloading, so it should be finished soon. So now the installation is in progress. Once this is done, we're going to start syncing the entire node on our VPS. And as the reminder, there's no way how you can verify that you are the validator on the network. Maybe in the future, they will put some sort of verification where you have to verify your wallet that you are the validator. Or in the Discord right now, if you go to the official Discord, you can see that they have full node, full node channel. So basically, you can paste your screenshot that you're validating. Just do not put your IP address because it's not necessary. You don't have to put your alchemy key or anything like that. You can basically just maybe um, post it on Twitter and uh, tag them and then paste that in here. Um, just don't put your IP address. It's unnecessary. They also said that they don't understand why you're posting your IP addresses. So um, yeah, so don't do it. So my personal strategy for running a node, I will be I'll be running this node until we're gonna see the token. So it might be three months, four months, or five months. So let's see how long we're gonna wait for it. I think the rewards might be great for running a node. The extra incentive, the benefit of running a node might be really worth trying. It might cost you hundred dollars to hundred dollars to run a node, but if you're gonna get ten thousand from this, that's definitely worth it. So that's the risk that I'm willing to take and see whether I was right or wrong. And most importantly, guys, if you have any problems running a node, definitely join my Discord. And there's more people running nodes in my Discord, so uh, we're definitely going to help you. So definitely do so. And if you want to see the status of your node, you can basically use this command service starknet the status, and you can see that my node is active. I'm going to show you now how you can basically view your logs and how many blocks have you synced. So if you go to the nodes guru website, you can copy this command and just paste this command in. Just press enter and you can see the information about our blog. So I synced 500 blocks at the moment. And if you view this darkened node, you can see this is over 66,000 blocks that I have to sync. And really important note, um, you can basically turn that off if you want to just um, close this window, turn mm -hmm. off your computer. And then when you log in one more time, just put a password, press enter. And we see that if we're going to paste this command one more time, so go back to Nodes Guru. Uh, copy this command go back to our uh, node paste that in and you can see that we started from the same place where we finished so we have 520 blocks synced and that's pretty much all guys so you have to wait until this is finished once you do that you're the stark and node validator and just remember just check the discord once in a while whether they posted some additional information about the proof of that you're the validator maybe they will add the wallet verification or sort of different verification so let's see how this is gonna place out and if you like this video guys if you think that was useful just definitely smash the like button for the youtube algorithm comment down below join my discord and subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next one